Welcome to our presentation. This film will examine one of the major geological provinces in our state, the Idaho Baffle. A batholith is made up of igneous intrusive rock. This formed from cool magma beneath the Earth's crust. Idaho Batholith covers 15,400 square miles. Primary rock types that make up the Idaho batholith are granite and granodiorite. These rocks and formations were formed by the Fairlawn Plate being subducted beneath the North American Plate. Basalt magma chambers formed and rose through the lithosphere. This caused partial melting of the overlaying rock giving it a granite composition. Magma cooled and crystallized into granites and granodiorites. The rising of the rock caused an uplift of mountains. Along with erosion, the batholith was exposed. The northern part of the batholith is called the Bitterroot Low. The southern part of the batholith is called the Atlanta Low. Radiometric dating restricts the age of the Idaho batholith between 180 million years ago to 45 million years ago, late Triassic Eocene. As when travels west to east, age decreases. Atlanta lobe is in place during the late Cretaceous 75 to 100 million years ago. Bitterroot lobe is in place around 70 to 85 million years ago. Structural features of Idaho batholith include mountains, hills, foothills, and canyons.
The topography of this province reveals mountains and canyons. This indicates there has been erosion in the past and is still happening now. The topography as a result is considered mature. The resources of the Idaho batholith include gold, timber, and water. Some of the natural hazards are risk of flooding. Wildfires among the foothill provide another threat. These rocks were collected from Morris Creek. This zone has a fault, separating the two types of rocks. Although they are both granite, notice the sample on the right collected from the foot wall is friable while the sample on the left, collected from the hanging wall, has not been weathered as much and is not broken down.